Hello everybody. Welcome to June. We're back at the SSSI with an unfortunate name. <laughs> All my hair's fallen off. Just say knob end is what it's called. Today's another massive walk. We're back up at Farnworth and we're gonna walk back to that midpoint again by the Aeon Training Complex. Hello. Join us, it's all downhill. Talk about deja vu, there's James's mill. I love how we've both got our shorts on today. 24 degrees it is. Does anyone remember the name of the river that we're about to cross? The Crow. Oh. When was it we were last day? Because look how much everything's grown, everything's green. Let's have a look at my photos that you've sent me. Gallery. Uh, Bloody lovely. Right. We found the date. So we're here on the 4th of March. My mum's uh, birthday, the day after your mum's birthday. birthday. There's a haunted house on the hill, remember? It's nice, there's a few clouds coming over. Yeah, this had to be a bit more cloud cover. One thing we did miss last time, people, that my friend Amy runs over, is the so-called Meccano Bridge. Just at the top there of the old locks. We've not even walked half a mile and we've already had our first drink stop. Now tell me, why are you wearing that top you're wearing? It's the Euros, delayed from last year. But I shall be following us, Southgate and his men. Follow me as well, let's go. Do you know what, that's beautiful, right. isn't it? Now this is the river uh, Well, The last time we crossed this river, we did it up on the top bridge. Preston Lee Bridge. Curious that that's here in the middle. Guys, is the half mile update something that you find useful, interesting? That's a lot of buttercups. We've done half a mile. Couple of goats there, mate. Really goat gruff. Down the houses is a mill. Lots of history. Look at that. I'm guessing Kersley Mill is that mill. Presterly, this. Really quite nice. That part where the kids were playing was all right. Prestoli. I thought it was Presterly. Ah, Prestoli. We've hit a mile, people, as we cross the air well again for the second time already this walk. Is it the last time? Yeah. Oh. He says, yeah, maybe not. Maybe. Just have a quick run to the other side as well. Let me just show you the river. First snag of the day. The map says to go through this person's garden. That's not right. Bless, they're all so lovely round here. No, it's been closed up for years, that. <laughs> we have to go back to the main road and round, but I don't mind. It's a lovely day for a walk. The people are friendly. The area's nice. And the zona shines. You go over the railway or under it. Yeah, that's the railway. So you've got our route. We're in Kersley. Can't go down that, that's trade the state, so we're going under the big bridge up ahead. Nice. Do you know what people? It's fantastic when you can just get out and explore new places. Looks like they've had to strengthen this bridge at some point to stop it all from crashing down. Quality bridge. Look at the sign, British Rail. This is one for any train buffs out there. Proper old school British Rail sign. And a Greater Manchester PTE sign. Which way do we go now, mate? We're taking a left here, maybe. As we start to debate which way to go, we've done a mile and a half. Near anyway, where you end up. MOT testing centre. Yeah. Look, different coloured bins to ours. We're in Kersley, I said that. Yeah. What did the woman say? Does this come under Bolton still? It's under Bolton. Goats! G-O-A-T, greatest of all time. Just as we hit two miles, we've seen a sign for Schoenstatt Schrein. Rolled off the tongue that quite nicely, isn't it? Schoenstatt Schrein. Sounds very German. We're going to go and check out what it is. Here we are. Even a sign on the gate. Schoenstatt. And there it is, a little white shrine. A rather German looking building. That's very beautiful. Who's this chap here? And look at the view behind it. Have a quick pop inside. I guess we need some sort of mask on. Oh, we've got to use a sand sanitizer. Your shrine, our home. I want to link to him. I can see it. To the left. 
So Uncle Google tells me it was founded by a German chap in 1914, a certain Josef Kentenich, and he was preparing missionaries who were going off to Africa. It's a Catholic shrine. Ah. And just to add to the experience, we've only gone and found a mosaic. The new bald and bankrupt approves of this Soviet mosaic. Well, it's not a Soviet mosaic, it's a Christian mosaic. But look at this. Stunning. It's quite recent, look, 2014. Destiny, Tabor, Nazareth. Jesus was from Nazareth, King of the Jews. Bethlehem. Bethlehem means the house of bread. Bethlehem. I like that. Brilliant. Look at that view looking back as well. The white chap on the left, the bench here, as we look out over Berchtesgarten or somewhere. <laughs> Heart palpitations. He's just seen his first Duke of the Walk and it was all going so well. Just to distract us from the Duke. Poor mosaics. There's an old building here. There's a church here. We'll show you them. Just put it out of your mind, James. You're fine. You're fine. All right then. All downhill from here, mate. Past the church. We follow this road down now. What was it called? Bentspur. Bentspur Road. All the way as far as the motorway, the M61. Not sure you can see them, or if you can even hear me with the wind, but look at the horns on them big horny beasts. Wow. The footpath according to the map goes off round to the right. Yeah. Hello sheep mate. Uh, Jesus. It's funny where you end up, on an electricity solar panel farm. It's like we're in the future and all the humans are dead and that we can't mine um, coal anymore, so. What? What am I on about? Stand on this, you get a better view. Oi, look at that. Oh, but on a day like today, these are generating the money's worth. Yeah, you said that, just as the sun went behind a cloud. Yeah, yeah. But still, even when the sun's behind a the cloud, they're doing something. Clifton Country Park, to the left. Huh? Ras, dva, tri. Tri mili. We've spotted the bridge that will cross over the M61. Here we go. Jeez, it is a long bridge. Oh, yeah. And I'm thinking the higher we get, the better the view of the solar panels we'll get. Oh mate, yes! Look at that! It's huge, it is, yeah. You've got one road. 61 southbound. If you're 555, then I'm 666. What's it like to be a hair reptic? Question everything. Why? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> My word! Oh, that long. We did drive through here, didn't we? Yeah, we bought an A666. Yeah, that's your railway. One major footbridge, that. It's about the one of the longest ones. Probably one of the longest in the country, actually. 666 is the Devil's Road. El Camino del Diablo. Yeah, as opposed to Casillero del Diablo. Nous avons vu notre deuxième duke de la journée, enfin de la rando. Le 666, donc c'est le diable qui conduit la voiture de diable sur la rue de diable. On that note, let's have some crisps and a drink. We have a decision to make. We've come from here. It's My map said to go that way, but to be fair, that's quickest. We've gone for this one, the Salford Trail. Seven minutes short. I mean, probably lose seven minutes with me stopping filming stuff. Lots of horsey things around, aren't they? Stables. Mm. I must say, horses lead a very stable life, don't they? Well, a lot of work. Three and a half miles. We're going to take the next left, which was the Linney Shaw Loop Line, an old abandoned railway line. The Linney Shaw Loop Line. To the railway. Do you know what? This walk's been so nice, I'm not even going to do a time lapse. Just take it all in. How pleasant's this? Woo, woo. <laughs> Alright, let's come up here. Just so we can see something different. I wonder what used to be here. There's a part of St. Helens on the site of the old Bold. Bold looks colliery. just like this. Bold Colliery looks just like this now. James is just going to see if there's any Polish shops. As we wait on the corner of Cotton Fields. This is Linney Shore. We're just about to head through into Whittlebrook. Bad news, no polar shops. The closest one is that Dobry Sklep that we saw in Ermston. Was it Ermston? It's down that way. No, that's uh, Eccles, isn't it? Which band were you talking about last night? Oh, dee 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 dee. Burn, baby, burn. We've done four miles. They're taunting us <laughs> with the smell of the barbecue. <laughs> This walk's been brilliant so far. Maybe a tiny bit warm if we're splitting airs, but yeah. 
We, we can't complain puke. that we've got nice weather though, can we really? And there's another new puke. That's what a new juke looks like, people. James likes. It's proper like an old farm, that. Beautiful. Choo choo! Catch the train. Oh, hold on. Oh! <laughs> What's that going over the bridge? Juke number three. On the left here, we have a golf club. Golf hey, buggy. mate, Walkden Yard, Ellesmere Colliery. That, yeah. that model that we saw at Astley Green, that must yeah. be here. This class is now at Salford. We're no longer in Bolton Borough. And I encourage anyone to live here, because it's really nice. I'm banana man. <laughs> James, that's five jukes. James, if you don't like me driving, walk then. Walk then. Okay. We're in walk then. And I cannot believe we've reached the East Langs Road already. That's because we've been going on a very, very nice, gentle downhill. Yeah. You can across. No, and the lights. No, yeah, six of them. Quick, hide. Run for cover. I'm hoping this might take us under the motorway somehow. Does it? Is there any way up, through, across? No. 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 Right. no. no. Let's go back and no. suffer that juke. Yeah. yeah, I know this bit. Twenty's plenty where people live. We've been walking for two hours. Two hours. Hey, this is nice. Is this the green of row green? The old cobbles mixed with some new road. Pretty little place. Yeah, it looks like you're right next to the East Lanks, yeah. yeah. This reminds me of some villages in like Surrey and places. Please do not park on this footpath as it provides safety for pedestrians. <laughs> right then, Row Green, you've been lovely. That is the one I cycled down. Uh -huh. Do you remember when I told you when I was coming back down from Darwin? Yes. I went across. This brought me out by the canal. Just to inform our audience what our plans are for the day. We're following it down from here towards Barton Aerodrome across the Manchester Ship Canal, underneath the Barton Bridge, and then carry on into Bermston. sort of Ermston, yeah, past well, the Trafford. Happy days, everyone's that. happy. Oh. There's that wild garlic again, you can smell it. Very strong with the sun heating it. Love garlic. Lovely. Wow, look at that, mate, with the wood on the front. And look at that, that's like a Swiss chalet. So intricate with the wooden design above the window. And how's that for a gate? It's like a little hobbit house. Hello, Apple oh, Maps. Man. Hello. Hello. <laughs> wow. We might be on Apple Maps, mate. Gonna... Number seven, a red duke. <laughs> a nice little street. Some very nice cars. But there was one point that let us down. Guys, this is Worsley, by the way, which is very well healed. He seems to think Ryan Giggs lived down here at some point. Down the hill again. <laughs> St Mark's Church Spire on the horizon, we'll go past that in a minute. And some lovely, lovely gardens. We suddenly found ourselves under the over the edge or somewhere, like Salford's equivalent. Fantastic place. Five and a half miles, people. And just look at it. There's a couple of pennies around here, I tell you. Hey, another secret passage for the boys. Look, another massive house. 1850, that one. Blooming heck, people. This is lovely. Is this the footpath? Oh. We're coming in at the back of St Mark's Church on the big roundabout here in Worsley. Never stopped and got out, but I've always thought, what a lovely place. Commonwealth War Graves. Wow. I know James will be trying to figure out what the helicopter is. <laughs> Here's the M60 that we need to cross, guys. Lovely church. Really nice. Very so ornate. The Great War is 1914 to 1919. They do. Mate, what a church. I like that. Look at the faces, people. I like your beard. Let's give it a little stroke. Apparently, God had never heard of Gillette. The best a man <laughs> can get. <laughs> right, let's get through this gate. Get under the M60. Oh, what lovely weather today. That warm smell of traffic. It's like when you're in Spain. These are the things that you don't see when you're driving past in the car. Okay. So, 
This is Worsley Village Courthouse. You've got the library next door. Just at the exact point where we hit six miles, having walked four. Six miles? Two yeah. and a half hours. Two, Two and a half. Is that a... Oh no. How many is that? Look at the state of this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful old building. Built 1849. Look at that, mate. Nice, I like that. Absolutely loving that building. Not exactly our route, but we just wanted to show you this bit because it's very pretty. Is the water deliberately brown or is it just really mucky? <laughs> Probably just really mucky, but it's really pretty, isn't it? Fantastic, I love it. Love it. What's this chap doing here? He's fishing. Looks like we can get down to the canal, people, which is definitely worth it. I don't get why the canal is quite so filthy and brown. No. Maybe it's just the sediment on the bottom. I think when I've cycled the canal before, you get to a certain point and it just changes. The people behind us are magnet fishing. Yeah. Just picking crap out of the bottom of the canal that's metal, hoping to find something of value. Some pretend ducks here. Quack quack. And at the back is a pub called the Bridgewater Hotel. Patchy Craft. That's where we did the Caroline Ball Walk. Monton is really nice and it's quite near here. Let's go down this way. Well, keep your area safe. How many is that? Nine? <laughs> well, this looks like a proper old lamp post, but that's not much use. We decided to take Granary Lane. Granny Lane? And it should bring us out at a nice park. There's something about this house that makes me think of Martin McFly's with having the pile on behind it. Hey Marty! Marty! James says to stick to integers, but I'm going to tell you we're at six and a half miles and we're entering New Alder Park, Ponton AFC. We're going to be taking this path here, paralleling the motorway. M60, that behind you. This is called Port Salford Greenway. Yeah, that was called New Alder Park. Yes, it was. Just in with the Monton AFC was. In, in olden days, the motorway wouldn't have been in here and there would have been a more direct route, no doubt. It would have been. Makes you wonder what buildings they've had to clear, how many people's homes, how many people relocated when they built this massive motorway. Guys, look. Forgot all my hair's gone. <laughs> Should we shave James? No. Some old building in the woods here. Yeah. Vlogging is pretty hard work. It is, mate. I it's nice around here. What is it? Number nine? Quelqu'un qui n'est pas normal. Nice gardens, isn't there? I always tell when people make an effort, it makes all that difference. 